Hey, y'all ain't subscribed yet? Man, like, share, subscribe. Hit that like button right now. We are in the condition that we're in because we did what? We broke the Lord's commandment. See that's, that cross on your neck? That's the breaking of the Lord's commandment. All right, you understand? Let me show you how, okay? Give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. I want y'all to check this out. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. This is Moses talking to us when we got freed from the Egyptian captivity. You ever heard of uh, Pharaoh? You ever heard of Moses? All right, and Moses did what? Led his people out. Yes. Yes, let them out. Guess who those people are? were? Us. All right, now, when Moses led us out of there, he told us this, read. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. We don't listen to the, to the Lord, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. So what are we supposed to do? All his what? His commandments, That's right? right. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he still commands us to do his commandments today. Read what was going to happen if we don't do them. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. So, once you agree that we're cursed, after I just, what I just explained to you, we walk around thinking that man is God. We, we wear him on our body. We have him pictures on our house. We teach our little kids that, that a white man brought him gifts for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? We worship Thanksgiving. We don't even give our own parents the credit. So we are destroyed. Check this out. They say if we didn't keep his commandments, we were going to be cursed. These are curses. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses is going to come upon us and overtake us. All right, now jump to verse 29. Here's one of the curses. Deuteronomy 28, verse 29. Bring it up. And thou shalt grow at noonday. I mean, 49. Because who were in the Americas first? Who was over here first? The natives, right? Right? Guess what? All these people, so-called Puerto Ricans, Cubans, all of them, were over here first. All right? Now, check this out. Deuteronomy 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So who came against the natives of this land? What race of people? White. Okay. I'm describing another curse. They came over here and did all this. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. What race of people have the emblem of the eagle? Bring it out. Huh? The eagle. When you look on every coin, what race of people or what nation have the symbol of the eagle? White people. Greeks are white, right? So you look on their coin, what you gonna say? Romans are white, right? You look on they on their money, what you gonna say? <laughs> Spaniards, Americans, Germans, they don't matter. Okay? It's, it's destroying the people that's going to come against us. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So they came over here. All right. Look at these are pictures of ancient artifacts. All right. This was 10 commandments carved in stone found in Mexico. Guess in what language? Hebrew. We didn't speak Spanish. We didn't speak English. We spoke our native tongue, which is the real Hebrew. That's right. Read. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. They didn't care if you was old or you was young. They was cutting the babies out of the mother's stomach and bashing them against stone and having dogs eat them alive, burning them alive as well. Right. You know the history? And guess what we'll go do and celebrate? Thanksgiving. You know what Thanksgiving represent? The conquering and their victory. They had that Thanksgiving in, in honor of the victory of the natives. That's right. And you guess what? Go back and have Thanksgiving. 
That is what? A curse. All right? So that's what we're explaining to you. You understand? Okay. All right. Now, we broke the, we in the condition that we in because what? We broke what? Okay, let me give you a commandment. Do the running. Let me give you a commandment now. So here, here are some of the commandments that we broke. All right, check this out. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Read. The woman shall... The woman... The who? All right, here's the commandment for a woman right now. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So what pertains to a man that women wear? That women shouldn't wear? Let's keep reading this. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So, what men wear today that pertains to women that they shouldn't wear? It say, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment? What's a woman's clothing? A dress. That's right. Okay, now let's go back for the top again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, what women wear that pertain to men? Pants. That's right. Pants. So the Lord said you should not wear what? Pants. So women should be wearing what? Dresses. That's right. That's right. Though that is a commandment that we broke that caused us to serve our enemy. Now we are serving our enemy. That's just one of the commandments we broke. Okay? All right? Now let's just finish it off. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now we know that is pants, read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now we know that's a dress, read. For all that do so are abomination. What happens to those that do so? It's, it's abomination. All right, now let's go back to that cross. Go to uh, Leviticus 26 and 1, okay? Because that cross represents death, okay? Guess what they did? Our enemies made that cross, right? In honor of their victory over us again. Okay, and then they call that day Christmas. Christmas ain't in the Bible. <laughs> White Santa Claus ain't in the Bible. Okay, guess what? See these religions? They were all created during the time, where were we in the 1800s? We were in slavery. That's right. So this man created Baptists. Religion is of the white man of the devil. The Bible is not a religious religious book. It's our history book. That's right. It's, it tells what happens happened to us. Okay? That's what I'm saying. The stone is Islam. They brought all these religions on our people. Our people worship everybody else God. Guess what? Except ours. Right. They worship the white man God, the Arab man God. The fat Buddha, the, who is that? The Asian man God. Everybody else God, but ours. All right? Now, let's get her back, huh? Let's get her back. Now, let me go over this cross again with you and why you should take that cross off. Okay? Because you learned a few things. You know you're Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. You know Jesus is not white, he's black. All right? You know who came over this land, start talking and slaughtering our people. You know the dress code that you should be wearing. Right? You know why we're in the condition that we're in, because we broke the commandment. Let me show you something about that cross. Read that. 18. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18. What profited the graven image? What profit that graven image? Right there, that cross, read. That the maker thereof have, get, have graven it. The maker. The maker mean who made that? The white man. For us. Right? To keep us dumbed down into these dumb religions. Religion. These dumb idols. That leads to the white man being an idol. Because check it out. When you think of Christianity, the first thing you think of is a white what? God. <laughs> Alright? Let's keep reading. The molten image. And a teacher of lies. That's a teacher of what? And a teacher of lies. How is that a teacher of lies? Give me one example. Go to 2 Corinthians, real quick, 11 and 4, hold that. Give me one example how that cross is a teacher of lies. Christmas. They say what? Jesus born on Christmas, don't it? That's a lie. 
Jesus was born in the spring in the springtime towards Passover. That's in the Bible. All right. So that's a lie. It's a teach of lies. There are, there, are, there are more things that that cross teach about lies. All right. So let's get that Second Corinthians eleven four. Check this out. Second Corinthians chapter eleven and verse four. For in he that cometh preaching another Jesus. So he that come preaches the what? Preacheth another Jesus. So that preaches what? White. Because the, the Jesus in the Bible is what? Black. So if that preacher knows another Jesus, then that's a teacher of what? Lies. So what should you do? Take the cross off. You can keep the necklace, but take the cross off. Because here's the thing. We go through generational curses. There has to be a point where somebody stops the generational curses. Are you going to be the one to stop it or are you going to pass the same thing down to your little daughter? And have her worshiping a white man. And then she's going to have her daughter worshiping a white man. And we're going to be killing each other in the front too. So with the white man comes death. Why? Because anything goes. There's this confusion. There's no, okay, right, wrong, right, wrong. You're supposed to judge. The Bible says you're supposed to judge. You, you mean you tell me if you had a little daughter or a little sister, you wouldn't judge her. You wouldn't tell her, don't get in the street. Yeah, go ahead. And boom. You can't judge me now. Don't judge and let her walk. And then, and you see how stupid that sounds? <laughs> don't play by the pool because you can drown. Oh, you can't judge. No, don't judge and let her play by the pool. <laughs> you see how stupid that sounds? That tells you what you're supposed to do what? Judge. That's Correct, right. people. Lead them on the right path. All right, let's keep reading. Second Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached. Because that Jesus is not in the Bible. Read. Or if ye receive another spirit. Because it comes with another spirit. All right. The law is spiritual. You know that, right? Okay, give me Romans. The law is spiritual. That's why when we was explaining to you earlier, a woman shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man, nor should a man wear that which pertains to a woman. Because the spirit of it, when a man put on a dress, what happened to him? The spirit changed so he get the agony feminine and this and that. So that's why the law is spiritual. If a woman put on pants, she can have all kinds of spirits. She can have a spirit on a man of a man. So that's why you see women arguing with men today. Oh, and there's other spirits. You know, it show your shape. All right, put spirits on other people to look at you sexually. Right, that's why the, the statistics about marriage amongst our people is very low. And guess what? It's very high. Abortion, single family household, because people are getting together for the wrong reasons, because they got the wrong spirits on them. Understand? Now, you still ain't took off that cross, so go back to Rebecca. I'm gonna see, because I ain't, I ain't finished. You know you're supposed to take off that cross. Why? Because it's a teacher of what? Liar. What they make you then? Liar. And, and a teacher what? Of what? Because if you carry that, you represent that, that means you teach that. So you now is a teacher of lies. How do you feel a teacher of lies? How do you feel to go walk around here Teaching the white man to your people. <laughs> Celebrating your oppression. How I feel? Tell your kids that as a Santa Claus, a white man to give gifts and all. Feel bad don't you? Feel good? It must feel good because guess what's still on your neck? Let's keep reading. Get her back up. Let's go back to the back and finish that out. Hey, you you supposed to take that necklace off. You can keep the necklace. Take the cross off the necklace, all right? Then what you're supposed to do? Read. Habakkuk chapter two, verse 18. We're profited the graven image that the maker thereof had graven it, the molten image, and a teacher of lies. You are a teacher of lies. Read. That the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. To make what? Dumb idols. Can you read? Woe unto him that saith to the wood, Awake, 
to the dumb stone. Arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold. Uh, what, what's yours laid over with? It's laid over with what? It is laid over with gold. What's yours laid over with? Gold. Read. And silver. Some of it is silver. Read. It and there is no breath at it. There's no breath in it means no life in it. Right. Why? Because it's lies. Right. Teach your lies. You can't get a life out of a lie. That's right. You can't get life out of telling your kid, oh, go ahead. You ain't gonna judge and run in the street. What you get out of that? Death. Run. What that cross brings? Death. Take that cross off. Bring. And there is no breath at all in the midst of it. But the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is in his temple. He ain't in that. There you go, sis. There you go. That's a that's the start. Yes, taking that cross, hey, cross off. Oh, yeah. she heard. She heard everything. Oh, right now. praise. That cross is a teacher of the one. That's oh, right. She taking her off. Oh, praise. Give him a brown applause. Y'all praise to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Cause we out here to wake up our people right. and teach the truth. IUIC TV, where we are recreating the narrative for the black family. As the Bible says, where there's no vision, the people perish. The media have been vehicles that have conveyed destructive images of God's children, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not only are we in the streets, but we are on the airwaves and networks compelling our people to come back to their heritage. Tune in to IUIC TV. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.